And guys, the burn is dropping June 26. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Saying that this is my reservation, like all my specific information say my card isn't fucking working. Give them all my fucking credit cards and now they're all fucking compromised. Fuck you, fucks. Oh my God. So ridiculous. Oh, yes. like bro. I feel bad for the motherfucker that's gonna end up on the other side of that phone with me today. <laughs> that's so fucking annoying. Everybody, the news, guys. I got the results back from that uh, that MRI, that greasy MRI I did yesterday. So I do have a labrum tear on my shoulder. It's like it's like down there in my shoulder. So it's partially torn. And the doctor basically said that I got to go see a specialist now to see what my next move is going to be. Whether I'm going to get surgery to repair it or if it's going to be able to heal on its own. He also said I should go see a physiotherapist to have them tell me what movements I should be avoiding, which ones I should be doing, so I don't make the tear worse. I've been training like a fucking absolute asshole with this torn shoulder for the last like five months. I've been doing like fucking crazy side lateral challenges, like literally doing side laterals, breaking PRs for like videos with people and stuff. What was it, 120 pound side laterals? Doing fucking crazy dumbbell curl videos and stuff like that. And so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna lower the weight. I'm definitely not gonna be breaking any PRs with knowing that there's an actual tear there now and I'm just gonna be taking it easy. It's kinda, kinda fucking shit, but. And the scary part is too, he said a lot of times if it's a small tear, it'll heal on its own. I injured it back in December, now the end of June. So it's been literally like over five months since I originally injured this thing. So you would think that if it was gonna heal on its own, it would have healed on its own by now. I don't know if it's just because I've been training like an asshole, so it hasn't been really had a, given the proper chance to have it heal properly or what the deal is, but it's kinda scary knowing that it's been over five months and it hasn't and it's still there's still a tear there so you know i might have to bpc tb 500 the fuck out of it with uh, some growth hormone because last thing i want to fucking do is have it surgically repaired it's like you're out for like three months basically if you do that so but i'm not in pain or anything per se but i didn't get it checked out because it like, hurts i got it checked out because i can literally see the tear there so i'm hoping that if i just lower the weight you know i don't do anything less than 10 reps and i'm really just slow control go for crazy pump and that's it and i just leave it at that hopefully it heals on its own Vai dar problema, vai, vai dar problema Se minha dona descobrir que tem outra em dia até a matéria Vai, vai dar problema se minha vai, vai, vai My forearm still hurts from uh, that bicep curl challenge I did with Shan and uh, Sinian. Brandon's gonna have to be uh, the guy that's being filmed now with my torn shoulder. Huh? We're gonna have to switch places with the filming because I tore my shoulder. I know. So you're gonna have to increase the performance now. I'm cameraman status. My fucking shoulder is fucked. I can't even hold it with my right arm. Yesterday, bro. This is not yesterday. Okay, guys, we got beef ribs going. I'm like literally addicted to beef ribs. I think I've been eating them every day for the last like week. Just honestly, especially when you're when you're trying to eat clean, you're trying to eat really good, and not have cheat meals and shit. I find like having a really fatty steak, like a ribeye or these beef ribs, you know, kills the cravings. It's good for the appetite too. So I just literally have been just just downing these literally every night, and uh, I dumped a bunch of salt on there. Yesterday I had it with hot sauce and it's just fucking unreal. It's one of my favorite meals right now. I actually prefer this over cheat meals right now, these beef ribs. Some people like, would call it a beef, uh, cheat meal, but I don't consider this a cheat meal. I consider it really clean, it keeps me lean. Super high fats uh, are uh, good at like, keeping you nice and satiated. And this thing, they cook really quick too, they're easy to cook. 
piping hot. Like in the winter when I'm cooking, these uh, take forever to cook anything because it's so cold. But in the summer, it's like shit. You can leave that bitch open. I know. You guys are trying to eat clean. You're not trying to get ready for a show or anything, but you're trying to have a good summer body. Have one meal a day where it's just like a super fatty steak or like, you know, super fatty beef ribs. Eat that. I don't even have that much carbs with it. I'll have a couple of rice cakes. Sometimes none at all, depending on how much I'm eating. But have something super fatty. It keeps you so satiated. You're like, oh, it's so good. But it's clean. You're not going to hold water from it. Put that on fire. The other day, this whole like thing with it kept it on fire. I get that shit so hot. You know, I, because it's so fatty. Look, see, look at that. I can't even put my goddamn hand in there. Just put my damn hand, baby. Shit. Jeffy Dahmer up into this hoe, baby. Shit. You spread them out too much. What do you mean? There's a podium. You know, fucking put them on top of each other? I put them next to each other. It makes it hotter. Because the left and right don't really get heat. You gotta bring it all to the middle. No, dude. The right's the hottest. So I always put the fatty ones. The fat pieces. The huge ones. No. You play with it too much. Let, let it chill no. out. I know. I'm just trying to see. I'm trying to, can't fucking see. That's really good. That's so not cooked that much? I'll yeah. get crispy. I know. Me too, actually. That's uh, why I'm trying to... I'm trying to see the fucking lighting I Oh, dude, it. that's a bad cook if you leave it like that. You just shut it and then let it burn almost. No, I like the inside not fucking, fucking hard. I like it hard. That's what she said. A lot happens in 30 seconds with these things. They're so fucking thin. I don't know why. I kind of look at I like it hard and like yeah. salty. Like kind of like jerky. Yeah, no, I don't actually. I, I like it both ways. I had it, I had it less well done yesterday and it was really fucking good. All right, guys, so. I had to replace the rear tires on the Porsche because they are fucking bald. So back in February, I got it like service, got the oil changing or whatever, and they're like, yeah, you gotta replace your rear tires. I'm like, oh fuck, I probably do. Man, I was driving those summer tires with the winter and everything, and then I forgot about it. I look at it and I'm like, holy shit, these things are fucking bald. So I just got them replaced. They had the car for the whole weekend because I basically, uh, I brought it in and they're like, oh yeah, we're gonna need our specialist to do this because I brought it into another place to get it done. Yeah, we're gonna go pick it up now. I've been with the car for the weekend. 19 minutes away. Let's fucking go. And guys, the burn is dropping June 26th, Wednesday. Okay, so be on the lookout for it. This is literally the best fitness app that you guys can get. You know, training, diet, supplement guide, training videos. I got an in-app community in there, giveaways, and then we're doing a huge cash giveaway for members of the community, $10,000, guys. So you guys are gonna be able to sign up for that in two days. If you wanna get on the wait list, for it right now so you get updates on it maybe some early access link in the description box below www.the-burn it's b-e-r-n.com i'm super excited about it guys if you guys are like looking to actually just elevate your life like this is going to be like the best bang for your fucking buck like i, I literally could have charged like a couple hundred dollars a month for this app for the value that you're getting for it and I'm charging only $14.99. Reason being is because I, I know a lot of people, a lot of you guys that are following me, you know, you guys are in college, you guys are in school, tight on money. And you know, when I'm talking to a lot of people, money is always an issue for everybody. So I wanted to make it as affordable as possible to make it as accessible to as many people as possible. And I didn't want uh, money to be, um, you know, to be a barrier as to why you couldn't get the app. So it's gonna be $14.99 a month. It's literally the cheapest I could possibly make it. You guys are gonna have like custom diets. You know, they're always updating based off your goals, how you're progressing. You guys can post updates. Um, same thing with the, the training updates and you're gonna be able to play around with things. And if you guys have questions, just 24 seven support in there. The value you're getting out of this, you're not gonna find value like this anywhere else. I'll tell you that much, okay? Anyone else that makes an app to this degree is charging like hundreds of dollars a month for it. $14.99 guys, I mean, fuck, just skip out on McDonald's once a month, skip out on fucking, I don't know, a bottle of vodka once a month, and there you fucking go. And you basically have full coaching for the month. It's fucking ridiculous, you know? You get a full grocery list, forgot your meal at home, fuck, I gotta go to Wendy's now with my friends. You can swap out that meal from a meal from Wendy's that's gonna closely match the macros on your plan and it automatically does that for you. It's gonna be fucking sick, okay guys? June 26th. I've been fucking grinding this out for the last uh, month. Last few days, been on that laptop, just fucking hours on, it, on end, just doing the finishing touches on it, but crazy. So, be on the lookout, guys.